Afternoon, everybody. Evening. Hello. How are you on this fine Tuesday? Welcome back to Valhalla. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a fine night. I've got my beer. I've just been at uh, the Pride Parade over the weekend. We did, we did some storytelling yesterday already. Mm-hmm. With our uh, nice code names stream. Indeed. That wasn't yesterday. That was That was Sunday. That was Sunday. I've lost an entire day. I know that feeling. Sometimes it just be like that. It's just gone. Yep. Uh, uh yep, yeah, missed out on stream yesterday, but I was doing, you know, important stuff. So it's fine. Exactly. There there will be time for um so Fire Emblem is the game I'm planning to stream next. Ooh. Uh, but some other stuff, some other games have come up in the meantime. But I'm like, I should pop in here for a week just to hmm. see what's going on. Which, uh, which, Fire, which Fire Emblem are you going to stream? Uh, I am looking at the Shadows of Valencia, which right. is a remake of number two. It's the last one that was on the 3DS and has full, full voice acting. Oh, fancy. It kind of stuck in my craw because of um, Ian Sinclair, because he plays uh -huh. a, uh, I'll say, morally gray character, because I'm, I'm not confident enough to say he's a villain. I see. Yeah. But I was just talking like, oh, yeah, this one time I just went off crazy in the booth. <laughs> so um, I have that to look forward to. Indeed. Yeah, I just rec recalled that from uh, some panel he did uh, a couple years back. In the before times. In the way back when. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's up with you? Oh. Not too much. I made. I unwisely decided to purchase more video games. It which... is Steam Summer Cell time. Oh, not even on Steam. I, uh... My girlfriend wants to play Disco Elysium with me. Uh, it's a good game. So I bought, I ended up buying that for the Switch because it's a lot easier for her to uh, watch me play stuff on our TV than sitting in my currently extremely cramped and messy pseudo office that has like a billion things on the floor that I desperately need to move onto bookshelves and other things so I don't trip when I'm trying to get up. Uh, that's where the that consoles be... are? That's, or the, um... uh, no, that's where my computer, computer is. Our consoles are in the living room, which is okay. very easy to get around. Okay. Yeah, because I know our friend uh, Crimson was playing it on the PS4, and I think basically beta testing it for us. Uh, in that he was complaining about, oh, the the UI is not nearly big enough. Yeah, I, I had I had looked around a little bit to see like, all right, this is imported to a few consoles, which is like the, yeah. the had, preferred one. Yeah, it had since and, been uh, patched at least. Yeah, though I mean the main thing I got is like, and not even as if they're bad, but like this is clearly designed for a computer. Yeah, it's, and it, it, it's and, a little point and click adventure. Yeah, just and like that. Yeah, the MC, you know, it's not terrible, but you can tell that like, yeah, this is designed for like a mouse and keyboard kind of setup. Uh, so I opted for the Switch in part because, like, if, if using the controller gets finicky, that at least has, like, a remote I can point at the TV, which it feels like it'll be a half-decent compromise. Does it? Oh, right. One of the Joy-Cons. Yes. I was like, what? How do you control? Never mind. <laughs> uh, your electricity bill is to be set out on the 24th. Please make sure you have the $8,000 needed. Jill's curious about a drama she saw. Getting one will prevent her from becoming too distracted. Have a nice day. Uh, let's start with the drama, I think. Drama, so, that, drama. That's one of those little uh, little red things you paint in the eyes for good luck for, right? Yeah, exactly. It's that uh, crack drama. Japanese sewing veneer that has seen better days. Still has a vintage charm to it. <laughs> We've got 6000 in the bank. I think we're going to be fine. Mm. We're not spending money on nan nano camo. Or video games. Not so yet, I at least. Yeah. And there's the drama coming in. There we are. 
what's new here? I think just uh, some augmented die stuff. I know we All right. we ended up on chapter two. We finished out the first week. Mm -hmm. So from day zero to six. I, yep. And now yep. we're on day seven of the game. Just spent a nice uh, evening getting drunk with our boss. Mm -hmm. And nothing sexy does. happened. Mm. <laughs> no, nothing sexy. Maybe a little horny, but nothing sexy. Uh, exactly. Do you, do you want to start uh, re us reading off? Sure. GSF January 4th card announcement. 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke Headlining by Lana Smithy. The blood feud between Giant Yusuke and 66th American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th at the annual GSF Dome event. But it's not the only match of the night. Other interesting bouts feature great workers such as the great DK and Errants. Full card below. 66 American Kid vs. Giant Yusuke, GSF Championship. Red Comic Jr. vs. Nagisa, Women's Championship. Akito vs. The Great DK, no championship. Mm. Roy Campbell vs. Aaron's GSF Jr. Championship. Jack Bob and Blaze vs. Huli and Kara Kulta, Tag Team Championship. Mm. Osuna vs. Siegfried. Wrestling? My boss made me curious. And remember, kid seats are still just five bucks. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Red Comic Junior, so that's uh, the boss's old name, but Junior. Hmm. Like Rey Mysterio Junior, but hopefully just in kayfabe? Well, we'll... We'll, we'll find out. No, it's, no, it's the Blue Demon, where the Blue Demon Junior is literally the Blue Demon's son, so who, who, let's, let, let, who can say? Nanocamo is now making smart underwear. Uh, by Lana Smithy. <laughs> if your underwear can change with a voice command what was something you really wanted in your life, Nanocamo has you covered. Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a with a spoken word. No more stains in your white panties, just change its color to black and you will barely notice. That's that a way to deal with that problem? Yeah. That won't change the smell, though. They're not that advanced. We expect mm -hmm. an increase in sales next year thanks to this innovative product, a PR representative told the Augmented Eye. I'm already using them. Super comfy, if you ask me. You just thought about looking at prices. <laughs> did not. I don't know how accurate that actually is, because I was seeing uh, a VTuber to play this game and says no it's the opposite what are you talking about <laughs> who can say dangerous admin has been arrested again pick unrelated i assume mm. by lana smithy famous hacker alice rabbit graced the popular text board danger you with a new threat which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin known as fair fair for a second time we have no details to give other than that he was arrested as part of an ongoing investigation. Cybercrime units, Lisette Blanc, told the Augmented Eye during a call. We are now busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. When inquired about the arrest, Fairfair would only respond to this claim, Not this shit again. With... Only respond with a calm, not this shit again. Poor guy. It's rough doesn't, out there. Doesn't appear to be anything else new, so uh, off to work go. I think I did Jill last week, so I think you're up. All right, then. Monday, December 19th. Gave Gil? Oh, hey, guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving it for so many days without notice. Yeah. See, Jill, he'll be back here on Monday like nothing happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. 
Thanks, I guess. Ellipses. What, are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. It's been a stressful day. Mm-hmm. So you were worried. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. Mm -hmm. He's giving he's giving us that look. <laughs> She's right though. You shouldn't make the ladies worry so much. Check if the cats don't didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey boss, why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. And that you'd look cute in it. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. I, I see. Don't think I'm rejecting a gif of yours. It's just... Preserving, preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Right. Um, boss. About last night. When you got shit-faced drunk, yes. <laughs> I think I said one too many things and... uh. So what? Drunk banter is something you d see every day. It's not like I'm going to think less of you because of it. Ellipses. Relax. If anything, I feel closer to you after seeing you so wasted. Oh. So yeah, don't give it much much thought. Stupid meat rods. <laughs> the ellipses. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Nothing. Let's go. No mention of Jill's stupid meat rod. Are you okay? Your face is red. I'm fine. Hmm. It's all good. Okay. I'm hearing background talk. What about you, chat? Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, yeah, Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. <laughs> Just a sec. Is there something funny about the name Brian? I don't, he doesn't, they don't look like a Brian. <laughs> it's not the name I was expecting. Boss, some Brian guy is looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She'll, um... You heard her. It's alright. I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Ellipses. Um... I guess I can give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry, I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely j because of my position anyway. Handle me like you'd handle just another client. I, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Sugar rush. Should be able to do that without the help, but uh, we're going to look at the recipe anyway. Sweet, light and fruity, as girly as it gets. Just some amount of carmatrine. Yep. Nice and easy sugar rush. There you go. Here. 
Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow, follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh. They never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Dana has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have, uh, have a few questions for me, am I right? Ellipses. Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now, where to start? You saw the news on the information link during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those fine same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using Le BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too, dig too deeply. At least not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it apparently has proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla, any small bar, bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales? Among the reasons that a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. Ellipses? You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. I'm forgetting who told us that line before, but yeah. I'm sure it doesn't matter yeah, much. Yeah, me too. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Hmm? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was the whole Farmer's Fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. A damn alpaca lady. <laughs> I wouldn't get my hopes up, though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Get me one of those, please. Sure. Oh. The, uh... <laughs> Let's give Brian a suplex. Yeah. The, re the chef's special. Small twist on the pile driver, putting more emphasis on the tongue burning and less on the throat burning. Bitter, manly, burning. Did we mention burning? Sounds like something uh, boss would come up with. Yeah. All in the rocks and mixed. It's like, here, drink this. Ah, your face is turning red. This is great. Here. Here. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. <laughs> Ellipses. Jill called you Gil, though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. It's a regional dialect. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, more, it's more of an Albany saying. You could absolutely steam hams this game. <laughs> uh, uh, Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh, I see. 
You're putting the pieces together, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, ellipses. We can workshop this bit. Oh. Uh, ellipses. Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really, no. Although... Yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean, clean and timely delivery of the correct orders. A top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Mm. Ah, I see. I don't know what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill. J Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella. What a pleasure. All right. What's, where's my Ojo uh, voice? Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No, we're, I'm, it's not working. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella and get me a big beer, please. Huh. Sure, on it. Stella asked for beer. The classic order. Two, one, two, three, four. Two, Traditionally three, three. beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big beer for Stella. Oh, yeah. Mm. Feel it. Yeah. Uh, are you sure you're fine? Um, you know Say, right? Of course. What's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during that whole affair, and... Oh. Right. That plot shit <laughs> so she she didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath so I was hoping that maybe you'd seen her as much as I'd love to say that I had ellipses yeah I figured as much mm. ellipses sad cat ears yep Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. Still not talking. I mean, I could tell her everything would be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. Mm. Uh, what does one do in this kind of situation? Uh... Maybe a joke? Nah, that'd be tasteless. Uh... Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough. I don't think I didn't. I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Oh, there was a private eye here the other day. I? Oh, sorry. I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it. Yeah, maybe you'll want his services. What's his name? I believe it was Art Van... No, Von DeLay. I feel like that's also just a Seinfeld quote. Yep. Oh, that Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope? I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Mm. Sad. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll get me, give me answers about Say, whatever they might be. Jeez. Uh, sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. Hmm. 
I'm glad to know that you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help calm me down a bit. Gladly. Uh, something sweet. Uh, the suplex is sweet? Hold on. Or, no. I was searching by... <laughs> I was way off. Wow. Uh, Sparkle Star. Yeah, sure. They used to actually sparkle, but too many complaints about skim problems made them redesign the drink without the sparkling. Oh, is this basically just a sugar rush with uh, age? It is. Huh. Yeah. How about that? I'm just going to do it with that. Without any of the uh, alcohol. Here. Thanks. Seems you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Say is more like a friend to me. She's... Or more than a friend to me. She's... She's... Uh... Sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. <laughs> don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But let's say I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. There's the sad characters. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. <laughs> Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. <clears throat> I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm going to take my break, and you could use some. Well... For a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. <clears throat> okay, then. Gil, please serve as Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Yeah. That felt like a pretty quick uh, break. Yeah, that uh, I was expecting us to be playing longer before we hit the break. Mm. Well, back to Yeah, the sections are usually longer. Maybe, maybe the game's changing up the pace a bit. Hmm. I believe it. God damn, is it chilly outside. Um, but... Eh? What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Actually, do you want to pivot to art here? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Detective guy comes in. Cat Boomer Girl greets him. They start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started bad badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. While I won't deny Zaibatsu Corp isn't anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a new shiny new chain. Yeah, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. I always feel weird about uh, like words yeah, that's, that's doubled why, up like that. That's why I got caught up. I thought I misread it the first time around. Mm -hmm. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? The petri dish of the world. We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. Then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. 
True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my ju judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zybotsu Carp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yeah, but we also hold the AI reformation, reformation program, meaning that we're also the world's Lilum prison. AI went rogue, transferred to a delivery drone, or ship it to Glitch City. That murder, that murderer is now delivering your pizza. Oh, fun. Fair point. Although that program has proven to to have reformed many AIs, they don't brag about their eighty-eight percent success rate for nothing. Um, um, the city also has a stronger economy. Saibatsu Court's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just means more people who will plant their feet in your, on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. That's a very uh, corporate sentence. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Court's main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. What healthcare? <laughs> Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are more, also more jobs. All the companies coming down here need more personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... <laughs> I... he... <laughs> He's got nothing. Hey, ellipses. Hey, you, don't just sit there. Give me a Zed star. Oh, uh, defeated with facts and logic. <laughs> sure. Let's make a Zed star for the sword, baby. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He must be sore if he's ordering one of these things. Is it just four of everything? Yeah, that was the Zen star. I've forgotten what um, I'm supposed to do all after that, but yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, rocks. There we go. Almost did that by memory. The promo and bland one. Here. God, this is awful. Glad you ordered it. <laughs> it's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. I do believe it's your order. <laughs> of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging to only a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement than in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there are that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? It's a pretty mature answer. Corporations are not your friends, but they're doing some things right, maybe? Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, mature. Whatever. Sure thing. <laughs> sure thing, Art. I'm going to take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole or ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. That sounds like good news. 
All the corpses are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. Uh, it wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you, did you call him here? No, he just so happened to come by here today. The weird part is, is that the girl, the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hmm. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling me, if he's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um. Just get me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <laughs> On it. Two, two bad touches. Gonna Better make them before I laugh too hard. Gonna give each other bad touches. Oh. Let's double these up on here. Because I can. Some some big bad touches. Yeah. Not that I'm trying to get anyone uh, drunk at this stage. I just want the uh, the money boost for giving them more. Fair. Oh, forgot the uh, rocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. There we mm -hmm. go. I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After the people found out that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me, though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm fine. She's trying her hardest not to laugh her ass off. She, she can picture it. She would line up. Now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out, uh, yep, oh. that one's yours. Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose, and she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, now he learns tact. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about is about what say is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance she has to defend herself, well, I once saw her take care of a war, a, a warbot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Whoa. Surprised ellipses? Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot all about that. Say it's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. Resourceful. She's surely found a way out. Uh, I just hope she's well wherever she, is, wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. <laughs> you want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah. Order away. Okay then. I'll have a piano, man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. One piano man for the detective. Guess we put her in a good mood. Seems like it. Yeah. 
here. So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. All right, I should get going. My contract will my contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on say situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. There it goes again. Thanks again. Please come again. I don't know if he's wasting time getting his coat. Probably. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Maybe he has an unsightly hat that he kept to put on a hat rack somewhere. Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is soothing. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. All right, all right then. That would be all, Dana. Quite a mess, the situation with, um, Robert. Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6 Hall C. <laughs> what is this? What is this pun? Besides MI6. MI6 Hall C. Mikhail? Mig Hall... McHulk? I don't know. Right. Hi, hi. Right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, Brian. Fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill, we'll be staying over here. Let me know if you need anything. Do you need anything, Miss uh, hol Holographic Screen? Will do. Ellipses. Um. This holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit leggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. I'm Jill. Say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone, and when you say it's more interesting that way... Uh, hanging up's a bit leggy, you say. Yeah. It finally hung up. Whew, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. I have uh, arrived yet again at the <laughs> oh god at the majestic hall of heroes. Calm until now. We meet again, bartender. Ah, uh, it's this guy. <laughs> you look winded, Virgilio. It's our favorite. It's pronounced for Hero. For sure. Yo, ah, oh, Richard's Virgil Virgilio. You said as much last time you came here. Don't try to trick us, text-based game. Pronunciations are a silly thing. Society opposes on letters. N they want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. Ellipses. Stomachita. <laughs> you look winded, Vir Virgilio. We are all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until the, it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet, you're the only one in, in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's, um, I was jogging. Dressed like that? I can jog however I want. I just realized his tie is camo pattern, dear lord. Yes, you can. The tie in Disco Elysium might be more horrendous. It's, yeah, it's, but he... Sh he uh, it's close. Is this, is this, is this, is this worn by the, uh, the mustachioed lead character? Yes. See, that's fine. He looks like he should have an ugly tie. This guy just looks bad on him. That's also merch that you can buy for Disco Elysium. Is the, oh, the horrific necktie. That's beautiful. 
What can I get you? Something fake. Uh, of course. Something fake. Aren't all uh, the drinks fake? In a manner of speaking, yeah. Uh, let's just start and browse through here. What makes yeah. sense? Bad touch. Beer. Bleeding Jane. I guess the, ble the beer, I guess, is a explicitly a fake because it's not real beer. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else there is, though. Very Brantini, which is not a martini, but that's brand differences. Mm hmm. Some fluffy Dream. Fringe Reaver. Uh, favorite beer. Air set. <laughs> beer <laughs> air sets. <laughs> Since Air sets. 20, that's 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 promising. Yeah. This one's kind of terrible. Got punch. Face red. Wonder. Piano man. Piano woman. We kind of know their deal. I don't think either of them. No. Pile driver. Sparkle star. Early as it gets. Sunshine Cloud. Suplex, we know that deal. And the Zen Star. I think our strongest uh, bet here was the frothy water. Yeah, I like that. Froth water. Here. And this is. Totally not beer. Ah, yes. Just as fake as I want. <sighs> Can't believe that worked. Say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? Is, is cyberpunk just steampunk's future? I study everything that comes... I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me, stop touching the exhibits, you're going to break them. The nerve of some people. Eh? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Oopsies. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah. Hmm. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay, then. T time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. Oh, he's just fucking with us. Yep. I want purity. Ellipses. He wants purity. I can't give him pure ingredients, so... What do we do with this? I, th I do remember replaying the bit from last week because we missed a drink uh it affected nothing all right uh there's this one that's like four perfectly in balance mm -hmm. let's kind of click through I'm really not sure here. Bleeding Jane. There's like the uh, almost almost pure aldehyde. Or not aldehyde, the carmatrine. Uh, Carmi is thinking just the rum. What? Like a the rum, the rum, it is pure rum. Just a sh straight shot of rum. It is one of the most expensive drinks, so we'll get it. We'll get him on the uh, list price at least. Yeah, That's I cool. like it. Let's go with that. How is, How is this pure? Sorry. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, purity of heart. Ah, yes. Beautiful. I. 
<laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't get it. <sighs> hmm? Hey, you. The guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe. Yeah, I think. Whoopsies. No, 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 no. We haven't met ever. At all. That's an interesting reaction. Lipsis. Ah, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um... Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. She, well, she's satisfied with that. Yep. Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgilio guy. So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gill stuff, don't mind it. <laughs> what were you talking about to Brian? I like that we just don't ask anymore. Well, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink and we... I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to uh, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was already tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. Ellipses. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Y yeah. I'm, it must be nothing. Ignore that feeling, Jill. Yep. No mistakes. Brian told me to give you this. Oh! And we have enough money now for our electricity bill. If we, yeah. don't, if we don't spend it on random junk. <laughs> well, if we do, I'm sure we can make it back. Uh, Jill has Jill's a bit tense. Tense. Buying a shoulder shoulder massager will prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a nice day. Uh, do you do you do you you've played this game all the way through before, yes. correct? Yes. Do you recall what Virgilio's deal is? Yeah, I have uh, in fact seen that his uh, ending recently. I see. Is he actually the janitor? Uh, I do believe he is actually the janitor. Yes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Anyways, <laughs> curiosity sated, let us continue. Yeah. It... yeah, we made good time. Like, like we're here. In... I know that was that was that was surprisingly fast. We're, we're here in under an hour, so let's uh, just keep going. Yeah. Uh, shoulder massager. For those days when you build up too, too much, much tension. tension. Uh, plus, just under five or eight thousand. How dare they? What? No. I think unless unless we really bomb the next five days, I think we'll be all right. Oh, there's a message from uh, Karamiki. Oh, uh, I think we've seen this. Uh, by goats. Does she mean the flank? Yeah, this is all sounding familiar. Thanks, yep. GC. Love this place. Can feel the air and optimism. Uh, yeah, I see him. That's all. Dream person. Bye, Mickey. Every now and then, I wonder if I'll ever meet my significant other. All the stimuli from being born just three years ago and direct, directly being thrown into this wonderful disaster that is the idol industry. This makes me think of all things I'm missing. 
accidental love, lost love, or even the gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in this bubble that won't let me catch all the possible feelings, and my senses are get tired from, of the same environment. I want to meet new people, places, because even though I have a large bank of knowledge, I actually never experienced with what most concern, I actually never experimented with what most consider normal. But you already know that from my songs, smiley face. I suddenly have the urge to hug her. Aww. It's all very moy. The augmented eye, the EKDV-186 get his, its historic update by Lana Smithy. Weapon enthusiasts are freaking out right now over a firmware update that Mac 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 I'm trying to Mac think. say it's because I know Mac like there's a there's a uh, similar voice actor with the name Marik, but uh, this it's, might just go, this might yeah. just be straight Japanese. So let's Maki say. Yeah, Makisei, just go with that. Makisei Heavy Industries is releasing for its EKDV-186 line of assault rifles. Full compatibility with nano camo has been announced, allowing civilian models of this weapon that use that that use of nano camouflage and the option to customize their look for free with the help of the nano cam app. We've been using nano cam in the battlefield for a year now, Makisei's chairperson told the all to die during a phone conversation. And thanks to its flexibility, we can now sneak past the enemies using our, the environment to our favor. Our equipment is basically invisible with nano cam. The nano cam update will be released this month. You like guns? Nah, I don't <laughs> need a penis that badly. <laughs> wow. Womp womp. AIM Township 64 announced... New waifu machine? <laughs> Secret Bond Soft just unveiled a new line of personal computers for the anime enthusiast market. This is after several attempts at appealing to a broader audience with the Uranus game console. <laughs> Sega Saturn, etc. Uh, launch games have been announced as well. They will include popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, and Monster Companion. We're going for the weeb audience, said Kirin51, a Sukuman Soft janitor. What's dignity anymore? <laughs> Sukuman Soft plans to launch the AM Townships sometime next year. This is this uh, very funny. Didn't you play a game from those guys? Monster Girl Puzzle, yeah. This is, of course, the creators of the game, and Kirin51 is the, the main artist on this game. Uh, one of the two writers. I, I can't I can't decide if this is a weeb joke in general or if they are specifically riffing on those Sega games that are all just anthropomorphic Sega consoles. Yeah. Free hot take. I miss the Monster Girl genre as a trend. I would trade it for Isekai in a heartbeat. Yeah, I was I was I mean I, I watched like two of them, but I, that was fine. It you, you know what? At least there you get reasonably interesting monster designs. The most boring ones still have something interesting going on. Exactly. Yeah. Even if it's just like, here's here's I had Slice of Life school anime and they all have cat ears. Yep. What do you want? I I want this. Yeah. Give me give me more of this. You know what you're getting into. Uh, men prefer men pre I'll do this one. Men prefer all Christmas right. cakes, study reveals. Alana Smithy. For the longest oh, time, boy. the term Christmas cake referred to women of aged 26 or above who are regarded as undesirable, just like a Christmas cake Christmas cake that was ceases to be useful after December 25th. But men around Glitch City have developed a sweet tooth. Who doesn't like a mature woman, Todd, 19, told the augmented eye. They have all the necessary experience already, and plus I'm so tired of the spoiled immature girl girls doing stupid shit I say bring on the hot office ladies they got Andrew to do a quote for this game <laughs> apparently so Jill 27 is confused Christmas what is that like the opposite of a beefcake after discovering the real meaning she launched into an hour long rant I'll let you know that pencil skirts are the best 
this 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 one does a very good job of falling directly into the middle of like an actual like New York Times style fluff piece about a trend that's been well known for years at this point, and something that like the Hard Times would write. I'm very impressed. Very good. <laughs> Snaps for the writer. Yeah. So, it, the NY Times headline, but the uh, hardline hardline writing. In, yep. In the body. Absolutely. That's one hell of a rant. Awesome. Uh, and what's going on on the boards? The Paul Bank is getting attacked. Number three. Explosion registered. And media still quiet about it. Can confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. So there's more bombs, not just one? That's right. Do we have any clue who's doing who on who's doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that th that this is a group, a new one looking to overthrow the go government. My no sources, names have been... my sources, I made it the fuck up. Yep, no names have been mentioned, and it looks and it looks like it's not a group, just one person who set all this up. That's pretty ballsy. This is just a rumor around here, but Alice underscore Rabbit might be involved. How? A hacker is helping out is helping out hostages to escape, and they're suspecting of Alice. Huh. Someone doing stupid shit on the internet is being actually useful. This thread is closed. Some deep shit, shit happened right there. Sure. Sure, Jill. Some deep shit is happening on the 4chan XP. <laughs> thread number four. Can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead by a huge amount of data released from the servers all around the world. Remember the, the leaks from Adel? was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage. It's actually pretty damn unsettling. Damn. The file is available from approximately 60,000 servers, sources, terabytes that contain all operations from glitch, say, government and white knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside of the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. That shit sounds whack. How do you, how, how do you even make a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, it looks like I have to leave, but, I'm tr but I'll, I'll try to write down all the details for a future post. Gonna need some time, though. Godspeed and on. Thanks. Will you read the file? This nah. thread is closed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to know which uh, Twitch subs Twitch streamer is the most subscribed. Yeah. Nano camo underwear. I think I'll get a pair just to see what skin I can use them with. They've all nickel and dime with the DLC. There's no way to use the skin. There's no way to use the skin you want. It's going to get cracked day one. Maybe, but I don't think it will be that fast. Yeah, I think I'll just wait until there's modded for custom skins. I thought the nano machine fabric was bad for your health. No, that's just a meme. My walls are made of that thing, and I'm airtight. Are the walls hacked yet? I'm going to marry Camo Tan. We now have underwear that can change its look. Don't you just love the future? I would if they weren't such a bunch of assholes with their business practices. Ain't that just always the way? Then mm -hmm. don't buy the underwear. I won't. This there is closed. It's had to useless unless you're a streaker. Or have a boyfriend. Can you imagine Sorry. your underwear getting hacked? <laughs> um... Well, that does remind me. That does remind me of something. Do tell. Uh, uh, I saw, apparently, for reasons I don't even begin to understand, they have apparently made um, like male chastity devices that are Bluetooth connected. And I have seen at least one report about like, yeah, someone's like, uh, someone got like it hacked while wearing it, and they had to like rant, pay up some ransom money so they could take it off. Oh no, ransom money. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why you would include blue kick. I do, I don't like. I feel bad, but also like you are asking for trouble, man. Like, just get a just like get a padlock and key like a normal person. This is true. You you don't need to smartify everything. 
I, I, I get it, the appeal of it having some sort of remote control availability, like, I, I get it, but... For God's sakes, man, it's Bluetooth. It's named after a Viking with bad teeth. Like, come on. Wow. Uh, oh, did you did you not know that? I don't I don't think I did. No. Oh no, Blue, Bluetooth is named after it was invented by like a pair of Norwegians, and is named after Harold Bluetooth, who was like an old timey, well known Viking who he's called Bluetooth because he had bad teeth. Uh, that's that's why the Bluetooth symbol is that it's a pair of like Norse runes stuck together. Okay. Yeah, I've just th thought of that as a uh, fanciful B. Yeah. We're I... learning things tonight. <laughs> Educational. Um, yeah. Speaking of uh, smart devices, uh, Jill is enjoying her smart uh, shoulder massager. This little animation plays if you uh, click on her now. Oh, after, fancy. After buying it. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to go to the shop. We meant to go to work. Tuesday, December 20th. You can yeah. switch, switch off, I think. All right. Good evening. Ah, uh, hello, Jill. And that cage? I um, brought my cat. Your cat? Did I hear Yasunori Kato is in, was in the bar? <laughs> Bring me that bastard. I'll give him the fist of justice. I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake. I'll borrow his cap. <laughs> what is going on? Wait, there are no evil Omioji here. Did Dana get into the sugar again? Boss, what the f- oh, sorry. Boss, what the fuck? <laughs> sorry, that should have been your line, but I got excited. Didn't I hear you say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat. My cat. <laughs> well, that's even better. Hey, four. <laughs> so cute. Why did you bring him? I heard some apartments in my bar building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know. So I'd rather have him here, at least today. Ah, oh, well, I'd say something about the health reg regulations, but we already have a pack of corgis in here. Do you want me to take care of him in my office, please? Sure, but he's a bit shy, so... All right, four, let's go to my office. And I think she didn't hear me. Say, Gil, how do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep. Chief got me a small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Oh, yeah. And I got mine through that, too. Anyways, let's start. Good stuff. Uh, so something else I want in here. That's not. Maybe a bit of that. Maybe a bit of a uh, digital drive. Cometry and Dream. Base of the Titans. We need some base of the Titans. Not throwing. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, I've had base of the Titans in here twice. That's fine. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Yo, what's up? It's time. Indeed. Oops. Uh, lady, did you hear me? A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm not just another dog. I came here as a part-timer. Oh, no. So you're the part-timer. Yeah. And that's the horrible premonition I had. Mm. Boss, I'm taking my break. Too early. Shit. Uh, the part-timer is here. Ah, he came early. Why a dog? Why? 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 Look at him! He has a Hawaiian shirt! And sunglasses! And he's a Shiba, not a Corgi. I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. 
Granted, Shivas can be seen as the Japanese counterpart to Corgis. They're both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty. Anyway, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is... Does it matter what your name is? Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Sheba. Why Rad Sheba? What part of Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Thanks. Anyways, he will mostly help getting orders, bringing clients in and cleaning, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Um, right. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Uh. Are you okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic post flashbacks. Coming right up. This dog wants a grizzly temple. The deja vu hurts. Uh. Yep, so this is the other mascot for a game. You can get the Rad Sheba on her shirt. Calling it now better than Spuds McKenzie. Need this to be blended. Grizzly Tumble. Here. Wow, this is awful. People actually pay for this shit? Hard to believe, I know. So, what brings a dog like you uh, to taking a part-time job here? I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with the Safer Toy Company? What? No, don't let me in with those hurting supremacists. Wow. Hmm. I have a more noble and benign organization. I belong to Sira. Yeah, I suppose the uh, the racist corgis wouldn't let in a Shiba. No. Maybe that's yeah. Not not gonna I mean, not gonna say which uh, real world world race is some that's like. That's a dark road to go down. And I'm going to stop <laughs> that thought now. Sira. Canine Independent Rescue Association. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. Sierra is what I love, but damn, is it expensive sometimes. We decided to take part-time jobs to help fund anything it needs. We want to help Sierra be the best it can be. What do you do at Sierra? Pay treatment for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored ones. All noble causes. We're there for everyone. Huh, that actually sounds nice. Say, do you have a menu? Something like that, yeah, here. Now let's see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with promo drinks. Oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. Yeah, you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, Fluffy Dream? I like the sound of this one. Coming right up. Yeah. There you go. Just pick things based on the name. That's what I do. It's worked for me so far. Yeah. I, I think I go in the opposite direction and just order rum and cokes. Because <laughs> I know exactly <laughs> what those two things are. I mean, that's, all, that's also what I do. <laughs> I go to a restaurant and it's like, eh, what has rum in it? I'll drink that. Fluffy, Fluffy dream. No. Well, this one's nice. So why did you pick a bar? It seemed fun. <laughs> I didn't need that many weird skills to be part of this, so it was my best bet. Weird skills like having thumbs? Besides, it's close to home, so I can get here by walking. Do you have someone to walk you? Or take you and out I, for walks? 
And I do love me some walks. I can walk all day. Weird skills, question mark. Yeah, stuff like food handler certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. Indeed. <laughs> I, again, I, I, I can't remember at this point what came from my brain or just got buried in there the last time I played this. <laughs> I just I just like the idea that for like four legged like animals thumbs are just like a weird skill like people in primates have. <laughs> it's that thing where they can turn knobs, it's weird. Why did you pick a bar? Um on a limb two, I guess. I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> oh yeah, about the way you mix stuff. Yeah. Is it? Hey. It's a cat. A cat. Oh, he's distracted now. A four. Weren't you in the boss's office? Hello, cat. Want to play? Let's play. Oh. Brain has taken over. Yep. It's that uh, dog from Up now. Squirrel. Or squirrel. Lips on. Didn't dogs hate cats or something? Yeah, we don't hate them, unless they're intruders. Yeah, hold on. Why can't four talk to us? Why do we have to talk four four? <laughs> huh. You said his name was four. Hello, four. Let's play. Mm. No playing nope. allowed. You'll make a mess. Four, go back to the boss's office. Meow. Mm. That's one obedient cat. My pride. You want something else? Yeah, but I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. Eh? Everyone knows. Everyone intuitively understands. All right. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't get riled up so easily by dogs, but I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Yeah, that that voice. She's here. Say, Yay. say, hey. Ah, uh, say, my beloved. What what happened to you? Nice seeing you too. Well, I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Uh huh. No further questions. Yep. Are you okay? Do you need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one. <laughs> Don't worry. No, that's um. <laughs> Not if. You... Sweetie, how did you manage to slip by the mob lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily, these bandages help conceal my identity. <laughs> I want to go back to Common Rider. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Why come straight here? I... The ambulance where I got treatment couldn't stray too far away from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot while on rescue duties. I was nearby and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I need to regain my composure before doing anything else, so here I am. Um, if you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we learned before this that uh, people are lynching white knights. I feel like it was... <coughs> I want to say it was mentioned briefly, like, during the portion we played last week, but I could be making that up. Yeah. We, we know for sure that they, like, went berserk or um, shut down. There was a bunch of white knight stuff that leaked, which involved, mm -hmm. like, all of the corruption... Good old corruption. So, I, I could believe that rioting has been going on and things have been bad. Yeah, me too. Uh, you read that line, right? The security systems of the bar are top notch, and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually safer here, so I'm not worried about me. 
Instead, I'm worried about you. First, I hear you were at the bank. Then I find out you disappeared. And now you show up with all those bandages. Are you fine? What happened at that bank exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. Slow, slow down a bit. The, the medication makes me feel everything more intensely, almost like a hangover. Oh, oh, sorry. It's nice to know someone like a bartender was worried about me, though. Thanks. Everyone I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knights they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Um, something sweet, without alcohol. Thank God these pants still have my wallet in them. Oh no, I couldn't take your money right now. It's on the... Jill, please. I want to pay for my drinks. Oh. I take it I won't be able to change your mind? Nope. I mean, yes. I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet and no alcohol, right? Coming right up. Say seems to be in a bit of pain. Let me make sure I give her something sweet that doesn't have alcohol in it. I think we like giving her the blue fairy. Yep. Optional camera train. We don't need any of that. Blue fairy. Careful. Yay, this will help me calm down a bit. So, what happened to you? Where did you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. I jumped from higher places, but I landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from some debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. How? I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk! Yeah, really, no words. I was under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Someone? I woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me there. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. Hmm. What? No nothing. You just sound, um, cheerful. I'm alive! Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am talking to you. Being able to talk at all. Uh, Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Uh, uh, um, h how were things around here? I heard there was a huge commotion when the whole thing happened. I had to sleep here at, in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Despair. Uh, um. Hey, Jill, I want another drink. Uh, 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 Bleeding Jane. Mm. Say yes for a Bleeding Jane, but is it really the best idea to give her one? Uh, probably not, but... Yeah. A as if to um, signify that, hey, maybe... Uh, maybe don't. Maybe don't give the uh, girl what she's asking for. Maybe just give her yeah. that same thing that you gave her before. Yeah. Like, uh, what's the Bleeding Jane actually... Can't be. Bronson, powdered delta. Wait, this is an alcohol. This is not an alcohol in it. No, not alcoholic, but it's spicy. Mm. Uh, okay. Mm. Probably don't want any of that. Uh, all aged and mixed. There you go. Here. Here. No, oh, sorry. No. Phew. Thanks. Yeah. So, how were things inside the bank? 
<laughs> Come again. What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? Um, I was with this nice bunch of people. Well, they're apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing, cracking through the security, finding safe spots. Then... Um... Ellipses. Sorry for asking all that. It was obviously over the line. No, don't worry about it. It's just the uh, analogous is still numbing me. Analgesics? Probably. Yeah. Pain meds, I guess. Yeah. I'll take my leave now. Thank you for everything, Jill. Are you Are you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. As she moonwalks out of there. Mm. Uh... Um. Yeah. Weren't you leaving? Yeah, I was, but, well... Narration voice, she wasn't fine. <laughs> you know how I just said I'm fine? Yeah. I'm not. So I wanted to know if you could lend me your ear for a bit. Well, I was going to take my break. Oh, sorry. No, what I mean is that I could lend you an ear if you don't mind going to the back alley for a bit. Yeah, please. Yeah. So we we could have missed that. Uh, she could have left and not come back if we uh, gave her what she asked for. Interesting. Yeah. These, sometimes the cu sometimes the customer is wrong. Yeah, these are the ways in which the game changes. Gotcha. This is how you be a good bartender. Hey, an achievement unlocked, because I haven't done this before. Huh. I, I think I did just mindlessly give her the Bleeding Jane. I mean, that, that's what the, the game has primed us to just give them what they ask for, so that makes sense. Want one? Sorry, I haven't smoked since high school. But you did smoke. Interesting. But don't mind me, though. Smoke ahead. Thanks. So, why me? You're the closest friend I have nearby that isn't avoiding me, and and I think I'm about to explode. You could call Stella. Why? B because I'm afraid. I'm terrified. I'm scared. My colonel was using me when I made that error, and he saw me as a disposable pawn. Then the whole thing got closed at the bank. We were stuck in there with no food or water for three days. I, I saw a man be beaten to death after he found some snack in his pocket. That... that... I... 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 <laughs> when I was in rescue duties, I usually dealt with collapsing buildings, fire, that kind of stuff. But seeing people do that to each... to other people is just... I... I... Calm down. Nobody will hurt you here. You sure? I'll make sure of it. Just take deep breaths. I can't even imagine what happened to there. And truth be told, I don't want to imagine it. But it's easy to tell you bottled up everything while you were there. Is it obvious? Kinda. Well, I had to get out of there. Fear would have only gotten in the way. And besides, I made a promise to come back to... Er... Alright, what's the deal with Stella? Nothing, I'm just... Afraid? The word loses meaning after using it so much in so little time. Mm -hmm. She should have been worried sick and I can't call her after I came back. I'm afraid of what she will say. She will install you if she looks like that. She looks like that kind of girl. But I'm betting all all I have to. But I'm betting all I have that she will be quickly happy that you're fine and alive. Yeah, you're right. Think about it, think about it this way: a slap or despair for what's left of her life. Don't pretend to disappear. I mean, 
Besides, from what you tell me, you're pretty much only coming to your senses today, right? Yeah. It's weird how everything can change in such a short notice, you know? On Thursday, I was a girl doing her duties, minding only her own business. Now I'm injured and woke up to find out I can't go back to those duties. Part of me is happy. I know full well white knights usually do did more harm than good. On the other hand, I really love my job. Now I'm stuck with nothing to do. Yeah, I know how that is. The life changing on su such short notice part, I mean. Really? I would tell you why I know that, but I think you should go see Stella right now. Yeah, you're right. Speaking of which, hey, Gil. What? Do me a favor and escort Say to wherever she needs to go, please. Only if you cover my share of the work. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Let's go, miss. R right. Thank you for hearing me out, Jill. Anytime. Ah. Uh, so sweet. Mm hmm. And also, too much heavy stuff lately. Yep. Ah, uh, the weight. The weight is strong. Okay. Whew. Hope everything goes all right. Ah, hey, Jamie. Uh, Adam Jensen, man. Yep. Um, Jamie? Ah, Jill. Jillian isn't here, I see. Are you all right? You look distracted. I'm fine, don't worry. If you say so. Jill, where do I take four if he needs to use the bathroom? The cage has a small litter box included. Oh, that's convenient. Four? Four is my cat. Some apartments in my building are being inspected today. So I brought him here to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. Ah, oh, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. A gut punch for Jamie. Nice and straightforward. I don't think he needs a lot of alcohol, but a fair amount. Mm-hmm. He here. I thought when Sword ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke. About giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, that? In theory, <clears throat> yeah. Gil's the only one that pays attention to that, though. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He's a He read the, an old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns. But it seems like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. <laughs> I mean, if they copied such a still, <laughs> silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. Uh, we trained him wrong on purpose, as a joke. Uh, fake copy protection for drinks. Amazing. Truly beautiful. Like when the dictionaries had fake words to spot if someone else just copied all of it? Yep. Why not tell them that? It's too amusing, to be honest. No. My brain is just like, because it's funny. It's funny. Mm. <laughs> so what's on your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. You might have actual reasons to be feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I like to see what I do as bounty hunting, actually. Aha. Uh -huh. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. 
There are some people willing to pay you off to off someone that has done no wrong. Things like killing someone that owes a house in the way of a, some building or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. The bounty hunter part comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing and I get paid for it. You could see it as bounty hunting. Yeah, I guess. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be the one to kill for petty reasons like those. Well, let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter, if you don't mind. Huh? Uh, sure. Jamie asked for something bitter. That's a tad too broad a category, though. Maybe something manly would be better? I'm sure it all adds up. I was thinking suplex in my mind. Bitter and manly. Yeah, that works. Oh, uh, it's bitter and manly because it has bronze in it. Yeah, we're learning the flavors. That's right, people. They can Charles Bronson, and now you too can have a beverage made of him. They squeezed him and wrung him dry and made extract. You too can star in Death Wish 3. Here. Ah, yes. You just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon. <laughs> you can Sorry. grow Bronson in your backyard. <laughs> he said they made him stronger. I, when I was in college, a friend of mine found a a fake trailer where someone someone recut a trailer for one of the Death Wish movies to be it's a Charles Bronson in killing hippies. <laughs> uh, and it, it, it goes on about how you'd expect it, but in the end, it goes and when you least expect it, Jeff Goldblum, because Jeff Goldblum is in this particular one as like just some random mook who shows up for like half a minute for Charles Bronson to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's... which I think I think means it's the second one because the third one is the one that Alex Winter shows up in briefly as a random mook that Charles Bronson kills. Excellent. Uh, anyways, back to the game. Bronson roots and more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. <laughs> Your grandpa knew what he was doing. Seems I always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Ah, uh, no, don't worry. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking human taking a human life thing. Knowing that you've killed people and are now talking to me here, it's weird, you know? Mm -hmm. Be being a, a hired gun and killing people for money, it's a bit weird, Jamie. Just saying. A little, a little strange. It reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. <laughs> is veered in a wild direction. I don't know where we're going. I couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. <laughs> people just do that? They bump they just, uglies like that? Why? They just, just, they're just out there and they just raw dog with each other and then go about with their day? How? Why are the dogs doing that? Get them off <laughs> each other. Unlike what Sex said, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Ah, yes, I know a good way to change the subject a bit. What would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? Is this going to be about uh, Ed Nielsen again from Australia? Possibly. You know how Australia be like. Yeah. The way you said that was like offering a tale to a bored kid. But yeah, I'd like to hear that one. You see, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in the city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide bloodstains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top-notch. His information network was the best. 
Fetch me my red coat and my brown pants. Absolutely. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour or he wouldn't take the reward. Like Domino's. Like Spider-Man. He was too good, in fact. At one point, he took all bounties and didn't get a single reward. He was just cra that crazy by then. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James's head. The police had him cornered. His last words were, Send it all to my account! Before shooting himself. That's pretty baller. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of badass, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Damn, why hasn't he been made into a movie? So, there were no more bounties after that? A registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter and using his old targets as proof. If someone else tried to recreate the organization, the seeds of doubt would grow in little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? This is fair. Hmm. Yeah. They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals. And then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges using their targets as evidence. All just a big punny po honey pot, yeah. Yep. Ruining everything. So, no. Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you a part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. You doing okay, okay in the head there, Jamie? <laughs> are, are you about to tell us that you're Jet Black James? <laughs> it was indeed James and Jamie, yeah. Mm. I don't know how well you've changed the subject, but... That was certainly an interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jetback James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. So you say, <laughs> but it is the future. That's true. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. <laughs> I can see uh, why he went by a code name. Yeah, Jet Jetback Teddy doesn't have quite the same ring, does it? Oh. The story left my throat a bit dry. Get me a beer, please. Sure. One beer coming right up. Let's change the subject about all this violence. Do you want to hear about bounty hunters? Yep, works on four-year-olds. <laughs> uh... One beer coming up. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. Mm. One obvious thing I see is that you don't take what to, you don't take the use of the word "kill" in your stride the way Jill, Gillian does. Gillian, I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's an interesting. It's interesting though. When I compare you to it's obvious Gillian has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that. Sometimes, still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? Being reliable. I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came in in here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we've talked about him so much. Achoo. Achoo. <laughs> well, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss and G Jillian. Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone... Wait. If I say it out loud, I feel like I will just tempt fate. But let's try anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face. And that dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. So you still work here? Look who it is. All right, he has a name. Who Who is this? Remind me. Uh, this is Ingram, the guy that said we shouldn't fuck puppies. Ah, yes. And sex tourism and so on and so forth. Yes, yes. 
I knew it! Er, I mean... Quite the surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got out of my job. I need a drink badly, and I remember this crack house was nearby. Ah, now I remember this asshole. What can I get you, then? I'll have a Bleeding Jane. On it. Ingram wants a Bleeding Jane. Well, sure. does he now? Sure thing. Oh. I do think I'll just make that double. When in doubt, liquor him up. All blended. Spicy, classic, and sobering. Bleeding Jane. Here. Tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Oh, that's pleasant. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. Stares into camera, office style. Yep. So where do you work, Mr. Ingram? I don't have a specific job, but there's this, well, network of engineers in need of assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but I can follow instructions, and that's all they need. Recently, I've been working for this uh, Celia girl, working on some experimental powered suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other, and they recommend me. Oh. I don't ask questions and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Huh. Sounds nice. It's pretty monotonous at times, though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today's just so happens to be a not bad day. Besides, with everyone scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with no traffic jams. If I remember correctly, last time, I, I think we put together two and two that he had hired Dorothy. Yes, that her, sounds right. Yeah, to be his daughter for the day on her birthday. And I, th and I think that was the day that he came to the bar. Sounds right. So he was possibly having a bad day that time. That's always a plus. I guess. It all it almost became a bad day though. Thanks to some teens on the way here. They're always the worst. Ah, cyberpunk teens. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They were talking about how they would just go to Zaibutsu Gora's HQ and blow it up. I've seen one too many kids throwing around the let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu Core. Zaibatsu crap. Mm. Strong feelings. Mm. Even as Zaibatsu Core's building went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the head honcho just means his or her duties go to the next rim jobber down the totem. Hell, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. But my guillotine fantasies. Kids these days see too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it... Oh. Yeah, don't let it get to you. I don't. I just hate teenagers. <laughs> Valid. It's interesting, though. A big corporation in, curl, in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. I wouldn't know. I'm not a political person. Oh, how convenient for you. I know. No shit. <laughs> All right, give me a Zen star and try not to mess it up. Coming right up. Now he wants a Zen star. I'm a little sad you can't serve messed up drinks on purpose. You you just want to see what he uh, wanted to chuck well, it down. I mean he's I mean he's already ordering himself a Zen star. The man's taste is awful, clearly. I have messed up somehow. Uh, you put in one too many flanner flannergrade. 
That, there you go. That shortcut key does work on the rocks mix. Here. Yes, it's just as nasty as I've heard. Glad you like it. Spent two hundred dollars to find out if a notoriously bad drink is bad. Why order it then? Not your problem. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So where's the red comet? My boss, she. Jill, four is headed your way. Let's play four. Let's play. Yeah. Oh, a customer. Sorry for the intrusion. <laughs> you have a dog here and a cat? It's a regular zoo. <laughs> the cat's mine. His name is Four. The dog just hangs around here. He looks well groomed and his fur looks healthy. Oh. Seems you take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. No, they're just that's just common sense. Just paying us compliment <laughs> like that for no reason? Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. I'm I'm hearing the sin. I'm hearing the sin sin. <laughs> but I but I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. Hint hint nudge nudge. So, I'll take my leave. Please come again. Or don't. Don't count on it. You said that last time. <laughs> Got him. Congratulations, <laughs> you scared that client off. Four is as guilty as me. Ha -cha 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 -cha. Yeah, but I like four. He's my baby. Now go. Play or something. Right. Ah, you're back. What happened with Say? That cat boomer girl picked her up. I couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Oh, that's nice. Glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a bit. I actually saw, found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of the door at, at any moment. So you missed Dorothy? Mm, kinda. But anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. Hey! Doo -doo -doo. Playing with your cat was really fun! Here's a bribe, bring him again. <laughs> there we go. I missed. All right, so let's just quickly save up, and we hit ten o'clock. Nice and yeah. On the there dot. There we go. Good time. Oh yeah. It's here. So, uh, what are we doing after this? What are we doing after this? I have a stream to go catch tonight. Uh, all the. Halloween VTuber girls together oh. in one place. Oh That's, my. It's real sweet. Exciting. Uh, uh, Roots did his stream for the week earlier. Uh, this week, I think, um, an episode of the podcast on Friday. Mm -hmm. Steph and Andrew are planning to finish up uh, Stanley Parable. Mm -hmm. And then they're taking a look at uh, I Have the Somnium Files. I have my copy in, finally. It arrived on Monday. I am, for you, dear audience, I am leaving it boxed up so we can have a nice, uh, we can take it apart and unbox it together on stream. Fancy. Because, I, yeah, I've got the fancy collector's edition. Ah, uh, fancy pants edition. Yeah. Make that worth it. Yes, I... <sighs> I, I, I was unable to find a physical copy of the first game that was not comically overpriced, so I've... I am only annoyed that I, I, I wanted to get it for Switch, but it was $40 on the Switch store when I checked, so it's like, hey, it's going for 8 bucks on PlayStation, I'll get it there. Yeah. And then only too late realized that it was, in fact, also on sale on the Switch, and it's like... 
Well, who cares? But that's silly. I, I may have bought it also on the uh, PC, uh, the first game on PC. I, I would, I would have, I would have bought it on PC. But as I mentioned earlier, I think my girlfriend will enjoy uh, playing along, and it's easier to do that on a console. So, uh, if it was just me, I probably was bought it on PC because it looks like a pointy, clicky adventure type game. Yeah, they they want you like to click around a whole bunch and uh, click on all the things, get all the dialogue. Oh, I love doing that. Yeah. It's my favorite. You know, you'll find out uh, Ushikoshi's love of puns. I love puns. Oh. I don't know how many of them were translated or and how many of them were uh, like that originally in Japanese. Some of them real stretches. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it when they're horrible and forced. Yeah. It's the best. What well, we got today? Who's alive? We've got Lee and Lean uh, live with music, presumably to talk about her new CD. Uh, Kyle Phillips is playing Beautiful Joe. I haven't heard that name in a long time. And uh, Sean Chiplock is playing Demon Gaze 2. Don't know any of those names. Let's go say hi to Phil Phillips. Yeah. I think so. Get get some of those get some of that good good clover games. Take goodness. Alright. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll uh catch you next week. Good night everyone. <laughs>